These are our friends Pomni and Kane. They have set us a challenge to see who can build the most secure, amazing digital circus base. Chip, I'm so ready to make the most secure base ever. Oh yeah, you better be ready, Milo, because in 20 minutes, both of us are gonna try and defeat each other's bases and find the amazing digital circus character inside. The quickest to do so is gonna win. I'm definitely gonna be able to hide Kane better than you can hide Pomni. No way, I'm gonna build a secure a tower to keep Pomni safe. No way! All right, then let's get started. The first thing I'm going to use to defend Pomni is going to be a massive maze. And for that, we need a bunch of stone blocks and some andesite as well. This maze is going to start right here. The gate to enter is going to be three blocks wide, but the entire maze is going to be two blocks thick. We don't want thin, weak walls that Milo could just break through. That would suck, and it would leave Pomni absolutely defenseless. I'm going to be the first to take down Kane before Milo can even touch Pomni. That's right, I'm going to plan so far ahead, Milo's never going to be able to catch up to me. All right, these walls are going to go so far around. This maze is going to loop-de-loop -loop all the way to the back of my build. This way, it'll make Milo take so long to complete this maze that it'll give us a huge advantage. If Milo spends the whole time just trying to beat it, then we'll be able to spend our whole time getting through to Kane. Ugh, I don't like Kane at all. He's such a creepy piece of eyeballs. Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. And his teeth as well. I'm so lucky that the character from the amazing digital circus that I'm defending with my base is Pomni. She's so cool. I can't believe I got her and Milo got stinky cane. We've almost done with the outer maze wall. We just have to link this andesite up with the original part and we'll almost be ready to start on the inside of the maze. All right, now that we've done that, we can get going on the middle. I'm actually going to make this a little bit wider. I really want the entrance to be grand and scary. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Now let's start building the inside of the maze. We need to split Milo up from whatever direction he plans on going in. So I'm going to make him have to loop-de-loop -loop all the way around. This is going to be so funny. I think Milo's going to be really mad by the time he gets through this thing. If he ever does get through, that is. Let's add a bunch of sneaky corridors designed to trick Milo. Oh, yep. This one is perfect. If I was Milo, I'd probably get tricked by this as well. So we're doing a really good job. Okay, then Milo will have to go around here if he wants to make it through. And not to mention, he'll have to go around this. This entire other side of the maze can be a total fake out. Milo can go through these blocks, but it'll just lead him around and around in a circle until he hits a dead end. Oh, this is going to be so funny. It can even go all the way down here, hit the end, and then he has to loop back. Oh, I kind of feel bad for what I'm doing to Milo right now. I don't think he deserves this, but hey, I'll do anything to win this competition, especially against Milo. Once Milo makes it through this, he's going to get to another really confusing section. This part of the maze is going to become even more difficult because the hallways are going to shrink in size. They're going to become only one block thick. That is absolutely critical for making sure that Milo will get really lost inside them. Yep, Milo's definitely going to have a massively hard time. Once Milo makes it around the very back, he's going to be able to enter my tower. Now that we've done the layout of the maze, it's time to start building the walls of the maze upwards. Let's use stone. Let's build them three blocks up so that Milo can't just jump over. Kane can fly, but luckily, Kane will be stuck inside Milo's secure tower, so we will not have to worry about Kane trying to beat our secure base. Milo cannot fly in this, so he'll only be able to jump. That's why we need to make it impossible to jump over any of these walls. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on Milo's face when he gets totally stumped by my maze. Pomni's so good at mazes. I'm lucky I'm building this for Milo and not her. She actually told me herself, Pomni is really talented. Way more talented than Milo. He's so silly, but that's what I find so funny about him. He's such a good brother. Let's build this final part of the maze as quick as we possibly can. Wow, we're going so speedy on this. Whoa. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen stone be placed quicker in my life. But look, the maze is done. Now we can get started on our parkour area. I think it's about time we cleared all of this orange wool and replaced it with some nice hot orange lava. Kind of like this lava. Oh, 
I haven't seen lava in a while. I'm so glad to see it. It smells so good. Now let's keep breaking this whole area so that we can place lava all around the inside. I really can't wait to see Milo's face when he tries to beat this thing. He's probably going to go like, oh my gosh, I'm such a little birdie. Ah, I'm dying in the lava. Oh, he's going to struggle. That's perfect. I know Kane can just fly through lava, but luckily Kane's going to be locked away in Milo's secure base, so we don't even have to worry about him. Pomni also can't do lava, but she's going to be locked away in my secure base, so she'll be totally safe. Oh yeah, I'm really liking how this is going so far, and breaking this orange wall is going even quicker than I thought it would. Hey, oh, the lava's setting me on fire. That's good though, it just means that the lava is working, and it means that when Milo comes here to be set on fire, he's really going to be burning. He's going to be like a roasted chicken. Oh yeah, I think Pomni would enjoy that. It's going to smell so yummy from all the way up in her top of the tower. <laughs> I don't want to hurt Milo too much though, but I think it's going to be so funny. Now, let's place all the lava inside. I think lava is a good idea, but I don't know. Something about just having lava doesn't feel like enough. We need a second element in order to really make this difficult for Milo. If Milo can just walk right through, then we don't stand a chance at winning. What's something we can add to this lava parkour to make it way more difficult for him to complete? Oh, I know, maybe something knocking Milo off to prevent him from just going through it smoothly. But what can we even add? Maybe, no, I don't wanna add dispensers. Dispensers can only fire in one direction. Whatever I add, I really want it to be able to track Milo wherever he goes. That means it has an even higher chance of hitting him. Hmm, what's something that can track Milo? We don't have trackers, but oh, I know, maybe some kind of mob. There's definitely a mob that will shoot things at Milo that we can spawn inside our lava maze to make sure they attack him and get him knocked off. Wait a second, I know exactly what to add. Skeletons, yes, this is perfect. Let's add skeletons to make sure they can shoot Milo. First, we need to add a walkway so that Milo can jump around. This is very important because the skeletons actually need something to shoot Milo off of in the first place. The parkour is gonna go like this. It's gonna look pretty easy, but I don't think it's gonna be very easy when Milo has a thousand skeletons shooting at him. Oh, this is gonna be so funny to watch. Milo's not gonna like this at all. I think he's afraid of skeletons. One time on Halloween, I dressed up in a skeleton costume and scared him, and I don't think he's ever looked at skeletons the same way again. Oh, poor Milo. I think I'm gonna do the same next year. Oh, yeah. All right, the parkour is almost complete. It's gonna lead up to the second floor of the tower. I think here. Yep, that's perfect, but on the way there, Milo's gonna encounter some little bony friends. Let's have a skeleton here. I think we need to place a big platform for the skeleton to exist on. We're gonna make it like this, I think. Yeah, perfect. Now we need some sort of slab. I think crimson slabs look pretty scary. Let's place them here. This way, the skeleton will not be able to leave its little bubble, but it'll still be able to shoot down Milo as he tries to beat this thing. Hmm, the skeleton is probably going to despawn, so we need to think of a way to keep him around. Let's give this skeleton a full set of netherite armor. I think he's really going to appreciate that. Here you go, skeleton. Have some boots, some leggings, and a helmet. Wait a minute, he's not putting them on. Oh, I know exactly what we need to do. We need to place a dispenser to activate and put the armor on him ourselves. Normally, when I make an automatic armor dispenser, it's for putting armor onto me or onto Milo, but this time, I'm excited to put it onto our skeleton friend. Look, it's working. The armor is equipping onto the skeleton. That is perfect, but hang on. He dropped his bow. It must have gone in the lava. Let's give him a bow, but hang on a second. We don't just need a normal bow. I know exactly what to do. Let's get him a punch to enchanted bow. Punch is basically the bow's version of knockback, so if we give him a punch to bow, it'll totally make him shoot Milo off into the lava even harder. Oh, look at him with his enchanted bow. That is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. Let's spawn a couple more of these guys around. I think that'll be so funny to watch Milo get through that. I think two skeletons might be enough for this one. If we have any more, then the maze might become a little too impossible, and I'm not that mean. Now let's start building the outer wall. I think basalt is a good block. Let's 
let's place it on top of this orange wool. The gray and orange colors look so scary. They look just like the basalt biome in the nether. I think if Milo thinks about that biome, he'll start shivering. So this base is also going to scare him, not just totally defeat him. Oh, this is going to go really well. We're doing so good already. I cannot wait to see Milo beat this thing. And I'm sure Milo's base is so easy. There's no way I'll get defeated by Milo. The basalt is going to go all the way around because it is going to form the walls of the first level of our tower. Let's just connect it up to the maze. It's going to go a lot taller than the maze because the maze is only meant to be the first level. This basalt has to be the support structure for the entire tower. Let's place it up like this. Yep, I'm really liking this so far. Now let's just make sure it keeps going all the way around. Oh yeah, this is so awesome. Milo's probably building his tower out of debt. He's always building things out of debt. He is a very silly little brother. That's why we're best friends. He makes things that are so silly and fun for me and I make things that are really fun and challenging for him. So even though I'm about to beat him, we'll Aww. always be best friends and we'll always keep doing challenges like this together. Milo can be pretty hot-headed, but he cools down pretty quickly. It's really lucky. It's why we're such good friends and why we've been best friends for so long. We can keep going and do as many of these challenges as we want and I get to see Milo react every time, but we still stay friends, which is perfect because it means I can build even more of these challenges for him. But look at this. We are officially done with the first stage of our tower. We have the maze all around the edge and then our skeleton filled parkour over lava. Yep, I'm pretty excited to see Milo do this thing. I wonder what Milo's doing now, actually. Normally, I'd be pretty confident that Milo's building something bad, but I don't know. I haven't heard any silly noises coming from Milo's side, so I think there could be a good chance he's making something really scary. If he is making something scary, that could be bad for us because it means we might actually have a chance of losing this thing. I'm a little worried, but that's okay. It just means we need to try extra hard with this level of the tower to make sure we build something really scary. Wow, I'm so excited to build this epic base for Kane. He's totally gonna love it. I think I have a really good idea of what I want to start with. We're gonna start by getting my favorite block in the whole game, which is blue concrete. Yeah, boy, this is gonna be so awesome. I'm gonna start building my base right here. Oh, yeah, look at that. This is looking really good so far. I'm gonna make it into a big square so there's lots of room for me to put really cool secure base things inside. Yup, this is looking pretty good to me. I think this is a perfect size. There's lots of room for crazy stuff to happen in here. Now we pretty much gotta build the walls up. Now this is my least favorite part of the whole build because it takes me so long. I'm not really as fast at building as Chip is. Speaking of Chip, I wonder what he's gonna build. His builds always have some kind of crazy things going on. Maybe even some lasers. Oh, I hate lasers. Last time I saw lasers, I fried some of my feathers off and I looked really ugly. This first room is gonna be a really crazy parkour jump. It's gonna have lots of water and lily pads, which Chip hates to get his feet wet. So I think it's such a good idea. We just need this to go up a little bit higher. I think this is high enough to have a decent parkour. It's gonna go all the way up. And we need to figure out where the door's gonna be. Because even though it's a secure base, there still needs to be some kind of way to get inside. I think we're gonna cover this floor in concrete because I wanna put water in this level and nobody wants soggy carpet. That's yucky! There we go! This is much better! Look, we can walk inside and it's all beautiful and blue! Just like me! Now we're gonna put some stairs out here so that you can get inside and jump around! Now it's time to fill it up with water! I got my water bucket and I'm ready to go! I love placing down water! It reminds me of when I do MLG water bucket drops! And I always land them because I'm a pro. Check it out. This is pretty much a really good swimming pool. But it's not going to be for swimming because we're going to have lily pads everywhere. All right, we've got the lily pads. First one should definitely go right there. And then we're going to jump on, jump over here. Yeah, that's a pretty good jump. And probably another one just there. Chip's never gonna be able to make these jumps and save Kane. He's gonna be such a loser. Got 
There's even some tricky shortcuts if Chip's clever enough to find them. But I know he's definitely not clever enough because he's a bozo. And then we're going to put vines all the way up this wall because that's how Chip's going to be able to get out of here. Yeah, I'm liking that pretty much. Now for decoration, we're going to put some little walls around. These are going to add to it and make it look really rustic. Chip can even use these as little jumps if he wants to. But again, he's really not a very clever guy. So I don't think he's going to be able to figure anything out. I'm going to put some more vines around because I want this place to look really cool and like a jungle. Chip's going to be super confused. He kind of hates the jungle because he doesn't like bugs or anything. Maybe he'll even get confused about which vine to climb up to get to the next level. That's really smart, Milo. Gosh, I should be paid professionally to build parkour rooms. Now, there's lots of plants in here, but there's not a lot of animals. I think I should put some little fishies around so that they can distract Chip while he's trying to jump over my crazy parkour. We're just pretty much going to place them everywhere because the more the merrier if you ask me. Hey, look, these fishies are all friends. Oh, that's so awesome. I love fishies so much. I actually don't want Chip to be able to do the shortcuts. So what I'm going to do instead is put some walls up so that he can't get to them. Wow, I can't believe how smart I am today. There we go. That's a really good fail safe. He's not going to be able to get past those. And he's going to have to follow this. I have a really cool idea. These little walls are looking all right. But I have a way that we can make them look even better than that. We could get some soul torches and put them on top. Soul torches are my favorite thing ever because they're blue. And they're so pretty. Look at that gorgeous blue fire. Wow. Imagine walking in here for the first time. I think this base is going to be very secure if this is the first room in it. Now, it's time for me to do some testing. If I'm going to be absolutely sure that Chip can't complete this, I better do it myself, otherwise he might be able to get through. Alright, first jump, I already failed it, silly me! Oh goodness, this jump's really far. Alright, I'm gonna try my best and, whoa, I pretty much made it! Maybe I'm really good at parkour! And over here, dang it, I fell in the water again. Oh yeah, there's no way Chip's completing this. It's way too hard. And if he gets wet feet, he's gonna be so depressed. I'm really happy with this. We better seal it off by putting a roof on top. Otherwise, Chip might just fly out or something stupid. Now, I've had this idea up my sleeve for a little while. But I think the best thing that I could do in this room is put down some scary drowned monsters so that they really scared Chip while he's trying to get through here. That means he's gonna want to do this parkour really fast so that he doesn't get bitten by these water zombies. I hope they don't eat my fishies. No, they definitely won't. They'll want to stay hungry for Chip. This looks like it'll be enough. I'm just gonna put a little door at the front so that these zombies don't wander around over to Chip's side and give him a fright. And we're gonna put a blue door, of course, because what do you think this is, Bozo Town? Well, now that I've been standing here for a little while, I'm starting to feel kind of bad. What if Chip can't get through here at all? Maybe I should put a little chest at the front for him so that he at least can have a sword when he's jumping through here. And we'll put another lily pad goodness, I'm such a nice little guy for doing this for Chip. Now I think it's set. Look at this. It looks so amazing and I'm super excited to watch Chip try and get through here. There's no chance. Okay, this is perfect. We're almost done with the basalt roof. Then we can get started on the next section of my tower, which is going to be so scary. I don't think Milo's going to like going through this part at all. If he thought the skeletons was hard, oh, just wait until Milo hears about my amazing, super epic, extra, extra hot laser level. Oh yeah, lasers are my favorite thing ever and I don't think Milo likes them anymore. He used to love them 
them. He used to be obsessed with lasers, but ever since I started putting them in every single one of my builds, I think he got tired of them pretty fast. Let's get started on the iron block area that the lasers are going to actually go in. Oh, perfect. And wait a minute. We can make the wall out of iron blocks and the floor out of redstone. Redstone is needed to activate the lasers, so if we put it absolutely everywhere, that means we can put the lasers absolutely everywhere. Oh, Milo's going to be so upset with us when he realizes what we've done, but Milo's not going to realize what we've done until it's time for him to beat this level of the tower. Oh, I'm so excited to watch this. Pomni's going to be so safe behind all these lasers. Let's add a ladder up to the redstone level and get started on the redstone block placing. Redstone is one of my favorite blocks in the game. I love how it glows and can be used for ultimate destruction. It's also very close to the color orange, which is by far my favorite color. It's why I fully dress in orange every single time. Oh yeah, orange and red are so close. So redstone's basically like my second favorite color. I'm so lucky that it's also so powerful. I wonder if Milo's second favorite color is Lapis Lazuli because his favorite is light blue or maybe cyan. Milo's favorite ore is definitely diamonds, but mine is netherite because it's the most powerful ore in the entire game. That's why I always make my armor and my tools out of full netherite. We finished the redstone floor. Now let's build up these iron block walls. Let's make them as fast and as tall as we possibly can. Once we finish off this section of the iron block wall, we'll be finished with the surroundings of this room and we can get started on the lasers. Okay, now that we're done, it's laser time. These lasers are looking incredible. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's make a cage of them around the entrance. Yep, this is perfect. Now let's add a bunch scattered throughout the level. It's gonna be like walking through a minefield, except this minefield is lasers. Let's add some more barriers of them. This really is becoming like a maze. Perfect, and we can also build them just like this. Oh, if I was Milo, I'd be so angry right now. Wow, this looks insane. I'm so excited to see Milo get absolutely destroyed by these things. Even I'm walking through them. Wow, I can't imagine how Milo's gonna struggle with this. Let's add a couple more here and there so that Milo can't just cheat by going around the sides. That would be totally lame, but luckily I have a couple lame prevention safeguards. These lasers are gonna stop Milo dead in his tracks with a special emphasis on the dead part. Finally, let's make a ladder all the way on the other side of this laser parkour room that will lead Milo up into the next diabolical section. I don't think Milo is gonna like this next one either. Because of what I plan on putting inside the next section, we cannot use redstone blocks for the roof, so we have to use iron. The next section is gonna involve some redstone inside, and I think having redstone blocks as the floor of it will kinda break the whole thing. The redstone's gonna be pretty crazy, so we we need to make sure every single part of it is done perfectly. I better make sure that the final few levels of my tower are extra difficult, just to really make sure Milo can't breeze through them. And done, we've completed the roof, and now it is time to build the next section of my ultimate tower. Hmm, what block should we use for it? We are gonna use crimson wood. Oh, this stuff looks insane. It actually has an animated texture with fiery veins running through the entire block. If we make an entire higher wall out of this stuff, it's gonna look so cool. I think Milo might even get distracted by how amazing the walls are gonna look, so it will take him even longer to beat this section of my tower. This room is gonna take Milo the longest to complete out of every single one that we've made so far. I cannot wait to show the thing that I'm gonna stump Milo with here. The official redstone contraption for this level of my tower is gonna be a find the button room. Every button is gonna do something different and very scary to Milo that will make it super duper challenging for him to actually beat this level. I think they can teleport him far away and maybe even set him on fire every single time. We could even summon dangerous and evil mobs. Once Milo gets in the tower, he's gonna have to go through a sneaky little corridor because this tower is not just gonna be one block thick. No, 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 it's gonna be multiple. Let's use Weld at it to make sure this entire inner bit is as thick as possible. Let's type walls hand and boom, 
Look, the entire intersection fills to crimson wood. This way, we can place command blocks behind some of these woods, and they won't be able to be seen from the inside or the outside. It'll make this level extra sneaky. I think it's only fitting if we use crimson buttons for them. Since, you know, the entire room is already made out of crimson wood, it's gonna look perfect. Now that we have our command block, let's go behind this block of iron and start putting in what we want to make this do to Milo. This command block is gonna give Milo a poison effect every single time he presses this button. And and let's make another button here. This button is gonna be higher up, so maybe Milo will even think that it's meant to be a secret. But when he presses it, it's gonna give him the wither effect. That's right, oh, I wish I could test these out right now, but I can't. If I press this here, it'll activate the wither effect for Milo and he'll start dying in the middle of his build, which I think is cheating. I will do anything to win in these competitions, but cheating is definitely not one of them. At least not today, that is. This command block is gonna summon a blaze wherever Milo presses it. So if he presses it here, he's gonna get a blaze on this block. And if he presses it here, the blaze will be right on top of him here. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to see Milo go through all these. This one is gonna summon a bee on him. Oh yeah, I don't think Milo likes bees. He's actually really scared of them, but he does love honey, so maybe he'll be tempted to press it. This command block is gonna summon a scary ravager. Oh, I don't even like those guys, so I don't know how Milo's gonna deal with that. This one is gonna summon a block of exploding TNT on top of Milo. Why are these all so exciting? Exciting. I wish I could see them right now. This command block is purple because it's gonna summon a trail of arrows above Milo's head wherever he goes, but it'll only do it when Milo presses this button. Oh, this is gonna be diabolical. I really hope Milo forgives me after this level. This command block is gonna summon a whole bunch of endomites all over Milo when he presses it. And finally, this command block is gonna actually bring Milo up to the next level. Milo always goes in a clockwise direction. So this will be the last command block that he presses. Although, I don't know, Milo could be getting wise to my tricks, so maybe he'll press this one first. I really hope he doesn't. That would ruin my entire plan. Oh gosh, I really hope this works. Now let's get started on making the roof so that we can go on to our next section. I wonder if Milo's done with his level of his tower like I am with mine. I really hope not. If Milo has an unfinished tower, that gives me a really good opportunity to beat this this game and it'll make it way easier for me and Pomni to absolutely crush him and to find Kane inside Milo's secure tower. I'm gonna make something extra special for this next part. Chip's not gonna be able to believe it. I think we need to make this level a little bit wider, but I'll do that later after I do this first little bit around here. Now this is looking pretty nice. This is only the first stage of my next level. Chip's not gonna wanna come to this secure base. Probably gonna be trapped here forever. I love doing this kind of stuff. I'm such a good prankster. All right, now we have to fill this in. You're gonna see why very soon because I think it's gonna get a little bit sandy up in here. And now we've completed this top bit. One more layer around and then we can get started on the real cool part of this section. Nearly there. And wow, that's looking pretty cool. All right, now I'm gonna put some sand down. Chip loves the sand pit, and I think he's gonna love this sand pit especially because it's gonna be a little bit tricky. <laughs> now you might be thinking, Milo, this is just a normal sand pit, what are you doing? Except I have something very cool. I have ghost blocks, and that means we're gonna have little sand pits that are gonna fall right down into this room below, which you can't access from up here only by falling through. So let's get to it. Let's build down like this. Now I kind of put a ghost block like that and have a look at this. Pretend I'm Chip. Oh, hi, Milo. I'm Bozo Chip and I'm just hanging out. But, wow, I just fell through into this random room. That's so scary. Now the trick is we gotta put lots of these everywhere. First, we gotta map out where we want them. Otherwise, if I stop putting them down now, I'm totally gonna forget where I put them and I'll probably end up falling through myself. And now, we have to put little ghost blocks in all of them. Oh yeah, Milo, this is looking so good. I can't wait for Chip to get totally pranked by this. Now we're gonna build some walls up here so that he can't just jump off and get out because 
I want him to struggle in this room. Now that these walls are done, you might be wondering, but Milo, why does Chip even want to get to the other side? Well, that's a good question, because I'm going to have a little door. Hey, I just fell through my own trap. That's so annoying. I'm going to have a door over here, and it's going to lead to nothing. Just to make sure that Chip knows that it's nothing, I'm actually going to put a sign at eye level that literally says nothing. I'm going to put some cactuses down around just to make it crazy. Hey, if I fall through one more time, I'm going to get super angry. These cactuses are pretty much going to make Chip extra scared because he is such a scaredy cat. I'm loving the look of this room. Okay, now we got to work on the actual escape because it's not fair if there's just nothing. First, let's just put some vines that go all the way up. This way Chip can climb all the way to here and complete this. Then he's going to drop down into this room, which is going to have lots and lots and lots of scary monsters. We're going to have some zombies. Yup, lots of really scary zombies. Then we're going to have some witches. Witches are really cheeky and they're always laughing. And then last but not least, we're going to have some crazy wither skeletons. These guys are really terrifying. They're all crazy with their big swords. This might be a little bit too mean if we just make Chip fight all of them. I guess we should probably give him some weapons. I think we should put some item frames up here and put some weapons inside that he can use. And definitely a golden apple because he's just a little guy and he probably can't defeat any of these mobs without a golden apple. Let's put some iron bars around this little armor area because if he tries to get all of this armor, he's totally going to get destroyed by these mobs before he can even put it on. This means that to successfully get through this, he has to drop through one of these holes. One, two, three, four, or five. And if he drops through any of the others, well, he'll be toast. These mobs keep getting in the cage. I wish they'd just leave me alone. Get out of here, guys. You're really annoying me. Hey, we did it. And we only got four of these bozos stuck inside. Which is fine. I'll just kill them for now and then pretty much we can spawn more down later. We'll put a little door here so that he can get through. And then finally, he's going to have to get rid of all of these mobs in order to get to this really crazy door that's going to be on the other side. This door is going to lead to a little platform, which then has a ladder going all the way up past everything. For my next level, I'm going to need a lot of concrete. I think these colors are the exact ones that we need. Now I need some sand and we also need some red concrete as well, but not just normal red concrete. We need red concrete powder. This next room is going to be very, very exciting. The first step is to build a giant ring of green around the whole thing. Oh, this is going to be great. I don't think Milo's ever had to do something like this before, or at least when he has, I've never been the one to build it. So I am so excited to finally get to do this for Milo. Hmm. I think we definitely need some farmland all around the edges. That's pretty critical here and we also need some seeds and some bone meal as well. Let's start placing the farmland and putting the seeds on top of it. This way it prevents the farmland from drying out. Let's quickly get in as many seeds as we can before all the farmland dries. Oh no, it's drying so quick. No farmland, don't dry on me please. Alright, let's quickly place the seeds on this side before the entire farm shrivels up. Wow, it's like we're really going through a drought right now. That's terrible. And I can't even place water because next to the farm, I need to place a bunch of sand. There cannot be any water. Otherwise, this build will not match what I'm trying to make right now. Okay, luckily, we've got a bunch of farmland ready. And once you place seeds on top of farmland, it actually can't dry up. Only farmland with no seeds on top can go dry, which is perfect. Because now we can just place down a bunch of seeds to prevent any of it from drying up anymore. That is perfect. Oh, yeah. Now, let's start building sand inside. The sand's pretty important important as well because this arena is not going to be a battle arena and it's not going to be a parkour section or a maze. This is going to be 
a Squid Game's red light, green light section. Oh, I'm so excited to watch Milo have to go through this thing. Milo is terrible at red light, green light. He's always fidgeting and walking around and bumping into things. So when the light goes red, he's absolutely going to lose this game. And I'm going to be sitting up on a really tall platform ready with a bow and arrow enchanted with power 1 million to totally take him down instantly. I'm only going to use the power 1 million bow if he does lose the red light, green light challenge because I'm a really good brother. I would never cheat like that, but I don't know. I still think there's a good chance Milo could lose this thing. Oh, I'm so excited. I really hope he does fail at red light, green light so that I get to use my awesome bow. I'll even have to build that creepy girl that lives in the red light, green light so that she can absolutely shoot Milo down with her laser eyes whenever he loses. Let's build the green ring all the way around. This green ring can transform into red whenever the lights turn red. This way, Milo will know exactly when he needs to stop moving and when he can go free. Now that we've built this entire row of green concrete, it's time to get started with the blue. This is because in the real red light, green light, it looks like the sky, but it's actually just painted. It is really creepy, and I think the whole thing might even be underground. Ours is not underground, though. Ours is in our massive secure tower. Oh, yeah, we're going to make this so tall. Uh-oh. Why do I hear lasers? Milo must be building them. That's terrible. If Milo is building lasers, we better make sure our red light, green light is even better than his. Let's get some yellow concrete because over here, we need to build that Squid Games girl that will stop Milo from ever actually being able to complete this challenge. Perfect. I think that's in the middle of the room. Now we'll build her dress up like this because it's like a triangle. Wow, she looks kind of like a Dorito at the moment. Oh, this is exciting. It's going to look just like the real Squid Games girl. Okay, we'll build her face like this and I think this is what her hair looked like. Wow, this looks so silly. Let's build her arms. We don't want her to just be a triangle with legs. That would be so silly. Okay, this kind of does look like her. It looks a little silly though, so let's add her arms. Her arms are kind of sticking out in this little dance and we'll make her shoulders a little less broad. Okay, I think this really is starting to look like the Squid Game Girl. I think the Squid Game Girl might have had pigtails though, so let's do her hair up like this. Okay, perfect. The bow that I'm gonna use up here is gonna be enchanted with punch million and power million. If I type in this command, it'll give me a bow with punch 100 and power 100. That's pretty powerful if I do say so myself. So now we're gonna put this in the chest. We're also gonna give ourselves a bunch of arrows of instant damage too. That way we'll do as much damage as we can possibly do to him. Oh yeah, this is looking great. Now let's bone wheel up the wheat seeds on the sides and quickly finish the wall. I don't wanna be caught off guard. All right, this is looking great. We can even leave some of the wheat not fully grown. It just looks so cool when only half of it is fully done. It's how the real farms look in real life and we want ours to look super accurate. Although, oh, only only having one not grown is really annoying, so we are actually going to grow them all up. Now I'm going to quickly finish off these walls and we'll have completed the Squid Game level. And done. Okay, perfect. Now Milo's really going to have to get through this thing. It's going to be such a struggle, but once he does get to the end, he's going to be able to go up to the final level of my tower. The final level of my tower definitely needs to be the biggest, and it also needs to be the coolest. That's why I'm going to build it out like this. It is not going to be a regular pattern. It's actually going to be shaped like a diamond. Whoa, this looks really cool from below. Let's keep doing this on every single side. I want my diamond to look so scary from every angle. Whoa, okay, this is looking pretty scary. We only have one side left to do, and then we can get started on the stuff I actually want to put inside of this thing. It is the final level, so it's got to be as scary as we can possibly make it. Just look at this thing. It already looks so freaky. Let's make the floor and then fill it with the most dangerous mobs we can possibly fill it with. Wow, this this looks so scary. That's amazing. Let's build the floor out of crying obsidian as well. This is a block that is totally indestructible. No mobs can break it. That's very important for us because we need to have some super powerful mobs in this thing if we want a chance of beating Milo. Hopefully Kane does not escape his cage. Kane can teleport, so if he decides to come and help Milo, the game would be over for us. So we've got to make sure that whatever mobs we add are not just powerful enough to stop Milo, but they also have to be powerful enough to stop Kane. Hmm, what mobs could even be that powerful? Um, oh, I know. There's definitely some massive mobs in the game, like maybe a ghast? 
Yep, that'll be perfect. I think a ghast is definitely what we need. Oops, I accidentally broke a block. Let's not do that. We need to be so serious and survive this thing. We even have red glass as the ceiling because I'm gonna spawn a certain type of mob that might just fly away. First though, we need to build the cage for Pomni. Pomni is gonna be staying in the wall right over here. It is so secure because it's very high up and gonna be very difficult for Milo to reach. I want Pomni to be comfy though, so we're gonna make sure she has a nice big area to chill in. I think Pomni likes crying obsidian. Pomni's very often crying, so it fits in really well with her. In order to actually reach Pomni inside her cage, Milo will have to step on the staircase of dispensers. Every single one of these things is gonna spawn a different evil mob that he's gonna have to fight if he wants to make it all the way up. And done. All right, look, our dispenser staircase is ready and wow, the clouds are dramatically filling this top level. Okay, now let's start putting the mobs we want inside this thing. I think a ghast is perfect and let's only have one. I think for every single level of this thing, we should have pressure plates that link to both of them, but only one of the dispensers will work. The reason Milo is actually gonna trigger them is because the pressure plates are gonna be on both sides. Let's just test this out to see if it works and oh gosh, yep, that definitely does work. Hello, Mr. Ghast. Okay, I guess we have a ghast friend accompanying us. Let's put that ghast egg back and find some other mobs to put inside these things. Like an enderman and an endermite, maybe even a magma cube. We definitely can't forget the blaze and definitely not the evoker. Maybe even a vindicator as well would be absolutely perfect. Even just the mob eggs look so scary. We'll put them in every single one just like this. Oh, I cannot wait to see Milo fall for every single one of these mobs. Let's use a husk as well. Husks are like mummified fight zombies so they're so scary and we can even use a stray too. Strays are literally just frozen skeletons so they're freaky and they'll chill you to the bone. Finally we're gonna have phantoms but we're gonna have 64 phantoms inside each of these dispensers. That way Milo's gonna get a real handful. Now let's link up each of these dispensers to the redstone so that they will all activate when Milo steps on the pressure plate. Let's build an iron bar cell for Pomni. Even though it looks like Pomni's in jail, Pomni's actually gonna be so safe. It's gonna make sure that none of the mobs can get to Pomni and it's also really, really secure. This is exactly how we're gonna stop Milo from getting Pomni and hey, we can even place a bed inside here. Pomni loves the colors red and blue so she's gonna get exactly that for her beds. We'll put a blue bed here and and a red bed there. This base looks just like somewhere Pomni would love to go. All right, I'm so excited to see Milo beat this thing. Look, Pomni's inside and she's even on her bed. She absolutely loves it and she looks so secure inside this thing. Wow, if Milo wants to get up to Pomni, he's gonna have to fight all these mobs inside this massive arena and go through our red light, green light. Not to mention our find the button room and our laser maze. That is, if Milo's even able to make it past our skeleton lava parkour and our crazy tree tricky maze. Yep, I cannot wait to see Milo get absolutely destroyed by my secure tower that is protecting Pomni. I'm gonna seal off this room and then I think we have time for one more really crazy secure room that Chip is not gonna be able to get out of. I've been really liking my ideas so far. We've got a crazy sand pit room. Downstairs we have a really, really crazy little water room. And then all the way at the top, this is gonna be my craziest room yet. And done. That bottom room is sealed off. Time for this top room. First of all, we gotta build the walls, of course. There's the little entrance way to get in. And this room is gonna be full of all the craziest things the Chip has ever seen. We're gonna start with the lasers. That's right, you heard me. Lasers everywhere. Lasers need redstone to work. So I'm starting by putting redstone blocks everywhere. This is gonna look so awesome. Chip's gonna come up here and not know what is going on. Red looks really good next to blue. It's a very good contrasting color. So when we put the lasers down, whoa, would you look at that? It's shooting right up into the sky. I have an even crazier idea. I'm gonna put little silly dispensers around with pressure plates on top of them. And inside the dispensers, there's gonna be pillages spawn eggs. Which means if Chip wants to avoid the lasers, he's probably gonna end up stepping on one of these and spawning a pillager. Oh no, look, that pillager just died to the laser. I guess it's really working. Let's put more of these down. If I was Chip, I wouldn't come anywhere near my secure base. It's way too difficult for him. He's gonna be really like a scaredy cat. And then the special touch for this room is there's gonna be some buttons around. 
around. Chip's gonna think they're very important, but they're actually gonna do absolutely nothing. And I bet that's really gonna super duper annoy him. Now that they're all on the walls, let's put some on the floor. This is gonna be super distracting for Chip. And he's gonna really wanna click them. I love buttons. If I was doing this, I'd try and click all of the buttons just in case one of them did something cool. I also just like the way they click, honestly. And then through here, there's gonna be a little doorway the chip has to get to. And you know what's gonna be in here? A crazy jail cell that has Kane inside. It's not gonna be a very big jail cell, just a tiny one so that Kane can fit inside. Then we're gonna have some iron bars, just like that. And now, the finishing touch is I have to go get Kane and put him inside. Let's go get him! And would you look at that? There he is! Stinky Kane trapped in this little jail cell. Chip's gonna have to get through the scariest room to try and save him. I think maybe we should put down another sword in case he needs it. Because these pillagers are not friendly guys. I think I'm gonna keep the top of this open so that the lasers can shoot right up and be super scary. I think my secure base is amazing! Welcome to my secure base! You're never ever getting through this thing, Chip! This is your secure base, Milo? Are you telling me that Kane is at the end of this? Yep, and you're gonna have to break him out of jail if you can make it that far. I will, and I'm gonna make it so quickly. Alright, Milo, start the timer. I'm going in. All right. You do. Okay, what's first? Wow, it's a room full of drowned. And hey, Milo, they're all in water, so they can't even see me right now. What's in this chest? Look, a stone sword. I can take on all of these drowns so quickly, Milo. Watch me totally wipe them out. What? They can't see you? I didn't even think about that. Oh, goodness, this is not off to a good start. This is so easy, but wait a second. Why am I focusing on killing these drowned? I can just run right through onto the second level, although I did get some good rotten flesh to eat if I get hungry. Okay, what's up on this level? I'm so excited. This is my favorite level so far. It's really confusing. Whoa, what is this place? This is so cool. I want to see what's behind this door. I made it through this cactus maze so easy, Milo. You need to design better levels next time. Hey, don't be so rude. Milo, when you said it's nothing, did you literally mean a sign that says nothing? Yes, hee hee. I'm so silly. Ugh, Milo, that's so annoying. Ugh, I guess I'm going to go back and... Whoa, wait, what? Hey, I died. That's right, you died. Wait a second, Milo, in that room, I swear for a split second, I saw a bunch of diamond tools. Oh, you might be onto something, Chip. Mm, I'm gonna go down again and see if I can find those diamond tools, but hey, whoa! Look, Milo, I fell right into the diamond tool zone. Good job! I wonder if you'll be able to defeat all of these mobs with those tools. Yeah, probably. I even gave you an apple because I'm such a nice brother. Thanks, Milo. Okay, step aside so I can grab the apple. I don't want you picking them up. I am a little bit hungry. All right, now let me put on this armor. Oh, this is going to be so good. I feel so protected. Hey, zombies, skeletons, and witches, you guys aren't going to know what hit you. Come here. Whoa, Chip, you're actually pretty tough. Thanks, Milo. I think I'm doing a great job. Oh, no, the witches are throwing slowness potions. That's bad. I think I have to eat this golden apple before I die. Wow, I can't believe you're doing it. This is pretty impressive. I'm getting a bit worried. Yeah, you should be worried, Milo. I'm a bit worried as well, though. These witches are taking lots of my health away. Yes, get him! And hey, the witch is throwing poison potions and instant damage potions onto the zombies. That actually acts as reverse potions for them. That means it heals and regenerates them. Luckily, I managed to take down all the mobs, Milo. I'm going to go up to your next level. All right. I don't think you've got much of a chance with this next level, though. Wait a minute. Milo, the ladder was right here. I could have literally just walked past the nothing sign onto the ladder. Uh -huh, but you didn't because you're so sick. What is this room? There's a bunch of lasers and <gasps> Kane! Oh goodness. All right, I'm gonna somehow get through this, but wait, a pickaxe and another sword? What would I possibly need these for? Whoa, wait, what? Oh goodness, it's pillagers. Milo, did you put pillagers inside dispensers? Well, maybe they're gonna get you. Not if I'm careful, Milo. Oh gosh. What if I walk on some of these pressure plates? Hey, stop that. You know what? I'm gonna destroy these pressure plates to make sure the pillagers can't keep spawning back. What? Yeah, you shouldn't have. And Milo, the pillagers are attacking each other. This is perfect because it means eventually they're all going to run out of health. Dang it! I really flopped with this room. How annoying. 
My health is about to flop to zero, Milo. You didn't give me any way to heal myself. All right, fine. I guess I'll give you some golden apples or something. Please hurry, Milo. I'm about to die. I'm dropping them on the ground for you. Okay, I'm going to pick them up and... Oh, no. I don't know if I have much time left. Milo, I died again. All right, I'm going to quickly eat this apple so I don't die another time. And All right, I need to run in and break these final few pressure plates. Oh, goodness. All right, come here, pressure plates. Come on. All right, you can die and then you can die. All right, I got all of them. Now it's time to take out the remaining pillagers. All right, I got you and you. Okay, I'm going to take out the raid captain last. Boom, I'm going to take down this one and you are the final boss. What? How did you get them all? That's really annoying. You really did it. All right, I got Kane out of the cage, Milo. And what does this button do? Um, nothing. <laughs> Milo, it's time for you to take on my base to try and break Pomni free. I'm definitely going to be able to do it much faster than you did my base. Are you ready to take on my ultimate secure base, Milo? Whoa, this tower is crazy, Chip. I can't believe you built this in the same time as I built mine. Yep, I did, but I did such a great job. Are you ready to take it on? Yeah, I'm feeling really good about this. All right, let's go left. <laughs> Milo's going the way I wanted him to go. Once he reaches the end of this, he's going to realize that it was actually a total dead end and he went the wrong way. This is a breeze, Chip. I'm doing this so easily. Look at me go. There's not even any monsters. Hang on, what's this down here? Is this a dead end? Oh, dang it. Milo, you just went the entire wrong way. I've wasted so much of your time. Grr, you're so annoying. But I'm pretty confident I'm going to be able to get out of this one really easily. Yeah, good luck with that, Milo. I'm never going to let you leave this place. All right, we just got to go back to the beginning. Where is it? Goodness gracious, I am taking a little while. Okay, it must be this way. Milo, did you just try and exit out through the start of the maze? Oh! Uh, Definitely not. I would never do something like that. Well, this is obviously a dead end. This looks very confusing. And I think I must have to go this way. Yep, you definitely do. Keep going through the maze, Milo. I really want to see you take on the next room. Oh, no. This has really taken me so long. Yeah, it is. I've done a great job building this maze. There's so many twists and turns. I'm getting pretty confused, Chip. Oh, no. I think I found the end. Yep, yeah, you did, but you also found my skeleton friends. Wait, they are skeleton friends and they're looking at me funny. Goodness gracious. How am I going to do this parkour if they're shooting at me? That's part of the fun, Milo. They also have punch bows, so they're going to knock you back pretty far. Ouch, he just got me. All right, I'm going to be really skilled because I'm a pro. Are you ready, Chip? Yeah, I think I'm ready. Ready to see you fail. I'm not going to fail. Watch this. Whoa, I'm going really fast. Nothing can stop me. Ow! Hey, I'm in the lava! Oh my gosh, that bunch bars are really hurting! They just knocked you back to the start, and oh no, you're in the lava again! And let's go! We're trying again, but this time, hey, we're back in the lava! If I can get above them enough, they won't be able to shoot me anymore, and then I can totally complete it! Look! My plan is working. You did a good job with this one, Milo, but you're not going to do a good job on the next level because the next level is lasers. Not the lasers. I really hate lasers. All right, I'm going to have to be really careful about this one. You definitely will. I've positioned them so they will definitely deal some damage to you. Ouch, that one just got me and I really burned my feathers. Chip, you know how much I hate lasers. Yes, I do. That's why I put them everywhere. Oh, you're the worst. Right, as long as I just sneak through. Hey, I'm doing a pretty good job dodging them. Yeah, you are. Good job, Milo. And ugh, you made it to the ladder. Okay, whatever. I guess you deserve this. This one was super easy. You're a flop, Chip. Hey, that's really rude. Don't call me a flop. What's this here? This is the find the button room. Oh, I found the button. It's right there. And over there. Yeah, Milo, every single one of these buttons does something totally evil, except for one, which will teleport you to the next level. Well, I better try them all to find the next one. All right, let's click this one. Hey, I'm poisoned. How dare you do this to me, Chip? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you are poisoned. It's so funny. Goodness gracious. Okay, I guess we're going to click the next button. What's it going to do? <clears throat> Ah, uh -huh, it withered you, Milo. I'm really angry. That was not a very nice thing to do. 
Okay, next button has to be the red one. What? Oh, not the blaze! I hate blazes, Chip, you know this! And now he's shooting me with those darn fireballs. Yeah, sorry about that, Milo. Here is a netherite sword. I think you're gonna need it. Yeah, probably. I was giving you swords in my levels, and now you're only giving me after I die. Whoa, what happened to this guy? I think he became a ghost. That was pretty scary. At least I got him. All right, on to the next one, which must be this one, right? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stand back. Wait, why? Oh, there's little bees. Hi, little bee. You're so cute. I love little bees. Just make sure you don't accidentally hit him, Milo. I would never hit him. He's so adorable. We're best friends. All right, on to the next one. I'm feeling good about this, Chip. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just going to avoid this one because I definitely know what this is about to be. Oh, gosh, now I'm feeling nervous. Wait, a ravager! Yep, a ravager, Milo. What? He's too <laughs> You're going to have to defeat him if you want to find the other buttons. But he's really tough, Chip. You have to help me out a little bit. Okay, fine. I will add one iron golem to this arena that will assist you in the battle. Yeah, this is awesome. Iron golem's going to help me. Let's go. Look, he's helping you beat the Ravager, but you still have to help as well, Milo. Yeah, I'm using my netherite sword and we did it. I even got a saddle. Good job. That's awesome. Thanks, iron golem. Thanks, iron golem. You're my best. Hey, I thought I was your best friend. Not anymore, after you made this stupid base. Huh, fair enough. Chip, I don't remember which button I was up to. Is it this one? Yep, go press it and find out. I hope this is the right one. Wait, you blew me up. Yeah, I did. It was TNT. <laughs> and look at the destruction it made. Was it really worth it? Yeah, I think it was, because there are only a couple buttons left, and only I know which ones are destructive. This to be the right one and wait a second i'm getting shot that was so scary i can't believe you did that chip yeah that button summoned arrows above your head <laughs> they're getting really evil now there's so many left to go all right let's click this one and what is that get it away from me this is a dragon fireball i thought it would explode but i guess you're safe Huh, Kane must be working his magic to help you. Yeah, because Kane's my bestie and he's helping me out from afar. All right, let's do this next one. I'm feeling brave to take on whatever's coming next. Um, now I'm not feeling so brave. These are endomites, Milo. Hey! That little guy was punching me. Yeah, I think all the little guys are, Milo. You better run. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm going to click this last button. Hopefully I can get out of here before these endomites get me. Yeah, there's only one left, so it'll definitely teleport you up. Wait, wait, I'm coming too. Yes, it worked, and where am I, Chip? Oh, goodness, this is looking kind of like a red light, green light. This is a red light, green light, Milo, and I actually have a little extra something to make sure that when the light goes red, you stay still. Well, don't worry, because I'm going to be the stillest bird in the whole universe. All right, Milo, the light is now green. Red light. Hmm, Milo, I think you moved for a second after I said red light. I didn't move. Don't be such a liar. Okay, okay. I'm going to say green light, then red light really quick. And if you move, then I'm going to shoot you with my bow. I won't move. I'm a pro. Okay, green light. Red light. Oh, wait. You definitely moved, Milo. Say hello to the bobo. Boom. Oh, that hurt me. All right, I guess I've got to start at the beginning. Go ahead, Chip. Green light. Red light. Hmm. Okay, that was pretty close, so I'm going to shoot an arrow close to you. What? That's making me nervous. You better not flinch when I shoot the arrow, Milo, or else you lose. I'll try not to. Green light. Red light. Okay, now I'm going to say green light, but I'm going to activate the lasers, so you have to run. Okay. And in three, two, one, green light. Whoa. I'm on one heart. Okay. I guess you've made it though, Milo. So I'm going to turn off these lasers and now you get to make it to my final level. Hooray! I'm totally doing this faster than you did mine. No way, Milo. I don't think so at all. Let's go up. Whoa, Chip. This is the craziest room I've ever seen. Welcome to the arena of death. Oh, well, it 
doesn't look that deadly. I think I could just hop up there and kidnap Pomni. Hey, no! I need to save Pomni from you, Milo, and that's why I've built such a powerful lost level. Oh my gosh, okay, well, I guess I'll just try and be very careful. Alright, this first one's gonna be easy. Just gonna hop up and... Wait! Ouch! Yo, that's right, Milo. This level spawns crazy mobs every time you activate a pressure plate. I better not be activating the pressure plates then, because goodness gracious! Yep, goodness gracious is right, Milo. But hey, you've already taken down two levels of the mobs. There's only, what, like ten to go? Oh, gosh. Aw, oh, Chip, I don't think I can jump up here without avoiding that pressure plate, but I'm gonna try and... Hang on, what did I just do? I hate these guys! That's an evoker, Milo. They're very powerful, but wow, you defeated him. Now you have to take down his Vex army. I hate Vexes the most! They're my least favorite mob in the whole game because they're always so rude. Yeah, they're pretty rude, but hey, you're the one trying to kill them, Milo. Yeah, because I'm the coolest warrior in the whole land. Oh, Milo, one of the Vexes just activated two more of the pressure plates. He's so cheeky! You Vex, come here! You know what? I think I'm gonna have to forget about him because I've got bigger things to worry about. Yeah, there's also an Enderman and an Endermite. All the mobs are activating each other's pressure plates. This is perfect. Oh gosh, Chip, how am I ever gonna survive this one? Yep, that's the point. I'm gonna do everything in my power to save Pomni, and that includes getting a bunch of mobs to destroy you. But I have to be able to get Pomni, otherwise I might lose. Yeah, I really hope you lose. I hate losing. I will not lose. I'll be the best champion in the world. Oh gosh, you're actually getting pretty far, Milo. There's only a couple more unspawned mobs left. Still going up and being very careful. Not gonna trigger anything. Oh, I just fell off. All my progress is wasted. <laughs> Milo, that's so funny. You need to not trigger the pressure plates, but you also can't fall off. I don't want to fall off, and I'm not trying to. Hey, what the? A magma cube and a slime. I know you don't like either of them, so that's why I included them both. They just really creep me out, and now there's so many of them. Yep, they just multiply every time you take them down. This is so bad. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to make it through. What if I accidentally step on that pressure plate again? Well, Milo, each pressure plate only has one mob inside, so once you trigger it, you're safe. Oh, really? Oh, I was trying to avoid them as I was going up, but now I don't have to. Except, I forgot where I was up to. Was it here? Oh, no. This is a really tough zombie. Yeah, Milo, that's not a zombie. That's a husk. Oh, well, I got him either way because I'm so tough. Yeah, good luck, though, Milo. There's only two more mobs left. I'm excited for the next one. Wait, now I'm not so excited. What the? Hey, these guys are burning up all on their own. This is awesome. Oh, no. Phantoms, what are you doing? Oh, okay, fine. I guess you've made it to Pomni. Yeah, I really did it! Best day ever! I got you, Pomni! Gonna break Pomni out of here and win the game! Let's go! No! I'm so amazing! Oh, Well, Milo, I only took three minutes to break Kane out of your tower. And I took 28 minutes! Yeah, Pomni, do you know what that means? That means we win! Milo and Kane lose the most secure base challenge! I'm so angry! This is the worst day ever! Hey, Milo, stop, stop!